2-0. And there it is. McCutcheon hit and Delgado run from the game. There were pregame warnings issued. And McCutcheon is struck in the ninth inning. And Clint Hurdle coming out to see if McCutcheon's all right. McCutcheon spikes the bat. To me, this is finable and suspendable. You have got to be sit down and fined. There is no way that's not intentional. No way. He should not be allowed to go back to the mound for quite some time after that. Fly ball struck well towards deep right center field. Back goes Mookie Betts. He reaches up, can't Ooh. catch it, and goes hard into the wall. Ball headed out towards the triangle. One run is in. Encarnacion still running. He will go to third base sliding with an RBI triple. And all eyes on Mookie Betts out there in center. Who went flying into the wall out there? He is up and appears to be okay, amazingly. Going as hard as he can toward that bullpen area, and you can see him crash up against the side of the wall. Ooh, right off the face. And down he goes. Base hit into center field. Shields headed home. Throw to the plate is off the block. Rangers lead 2 0. Now, on the swing there, I saw Beltre come out of the box. I don't know, it looks like he's got his hand on his back, but maybe stiffness from the Astral Turf. A lot of guys do this. Watch the swing and the finish. He's already, he's already hurting as he grimaces to go down the base. That is not a pretty sign right there. I know he's tough, but man. That doesn't look good. I'm watching him move. I don't see how he finishes this game. Uh, it's just every time he took a shovel step off, he was in pain. He didn't even run on that grounder. Let's keep it posted on Mr. Beltre. You know, it was clearly on this swing right here. He feels it right away. That looks like a muscle spasm, a cramp, or whatever. I don't know. I'm not the doctor here, but he's clearly in some serious pain. But then as he fights to stay in the game all his teammates they had to come over and say hey look big fella we're up 2-0 we're going to need you in this whole series. And he had tears coming out of his eyes fighting to stay in this game. But he had to go you're absolutely right Tom. Mentioned we saw both third basemen leave the game first Adrian Beltre. He suffered lower back stiffness after this slide landed funny. Eric Wedge, Rob Nodine, trainer going out to take a look at Felix. I thought he, he about four pitches, about four pitches ago, he started moving around with his back when he walked out behind the mound. It was the first pitch he'd thrown to Gordon, and he started walking around the back of the mound, and I thought something was bothering him. And that's going to be it. They're going to take him out of the game. Broken bat looper down the left field line, tough play. Elvis Beltre going over with the foul ball. Foul ball, but Adrian is down after the collision. Boy, he almost made some kind of play right there. That ball looked like it was in his glove before the collision. It was right down the line. Looked like it was going to be a fair ball. Adrian's up and moving around a little bit, but definitely shaken up on the play. Elvis undercutting and trying to slide to stop the momentum and he just slid underneath. I think what shook up Beltre is right there. He landed right on his back. Ooh. Yeah, you're right. Plus he stepped on Elvis. Yeah, he's lucky he didn't it's... slice his arm up on that. Wow. Well, both of them stay in the game and the two one pitch. Well, here we go. I, I'm just not sure something's going on here, and that's Chris Conroy, the, the trainer. 
as slow as he has been tonight it yeah. makes you wonder if something is just not right. He can't find the strike zone as I mentioned a couple of times I've seen him grimace. Well Dan if you, you know if that's the case I mean it, it's up to Shelby to tell Mike Matheny and. So that'll be it for Shelby Miller and Nick Greenwood coming into the ball game when we come back. More than 25 with you Darvish in that near perfect game that Darvish had down at Houston back in uh, 2013. And Wandy stumbling, not stumbling off the mound, but walking around the mound. And Gavin Harmon's going to come out. It looks like the way he's walking has something to do with his back. Whether he got back spasms or twisted it the wrong way. And Kevin Harmon uh, talking to him. This was the pitch that uh, elicited that kind of a reaction. And yeah, you can see it right away. Makes my back hurt watching him do that. Oh, my goodness. Goodness gracious. No, so, Wandy's going to try it. And uh, home plate umpire Mike Esterbrook on his way back behind home plate signaled to the uh, raise bench. That's no trip for the uh, Ranger coaching staff. Some bullpen work, appearance number 17 oh, this year. Yeah. And Bryce takes one 93 right in the middle of the back. That wasn't even close. I mean, that, there's no way that he's going to hit Bryce in that situation and put the go ahead run at the plate. But this ball misses probably three feet, at least three feet inside. And that's that is weak right there. Well, Bryce took his time departing. Well, it hurts. This guy. I Looks love, like I, Joey Votto's got something to say to Bryce Harper. I would shut up if I was Joey Votto. Bryce is handling this a lot more maturely than the older veteran is right now. Well, you, you just don't get involved in that. You just don't get involved in that. I mean, it, it hurts. I don't care. It's just a reaction. You don't necessarily know he's throwing at you, but the fact is, it's 95 hitting you in the back. Runners go. Double steal. Swan at miss. No throw. And Posada fell down. I don't know if he got hurt there. I got hit with the bat. That looked like a hit and run. And, and they're going to send the runners out. back yeah. here with, uh, because of interference. So Ron Washington is going to argue with Hunter Wendelstead. We'll see how he got hit on the replay, but he uh, he was staggered like he'd been hit with a punch. And again, that's in, that's in slow motion. It doesn't look like much, but in a full swing, I mean, that's a hit and run. Obviously, he went out of the zone, but he comes back and hits him with a barrel of the bat.